Today I got a special one for you. We are making over my brother's setup and I can't wait to share it with you. It's summer, I'm growing my hair, wearing a headband today. Let's go. My brother's old setup was on one of those 15 to 20 year old folding tables that you'd see at a fair. And he has a nice monitor, a nice PC, and a bunch of cool tech but I wanted to get him something special to set it on, and so I went big, I went different on YouTube this year because my brother is an artist, and so I wanted to get him a special table. This is an awesome standing desk that's actually a drafting slash drawing desk, which I think is awesome. I haven't seen anything else like this on YouTube, and this is from FlexiSpot. My favorite thing about this standing desk is the fact that it actually has a drafting table feature where it has different levels of adjustability for the actual tabletop for you to be drawing, for you to be writing, whichever is more comfortable for you and whatever angle you're doing your artwork at I love that feature and it's on gas shocks which is pretty awesome right next to it over here there's actually a little leaflet table where you can extend it out a little bit or drop it down if you don't need that much space when I first got this table in I thought it might be a little bit too small might not be sturdy enough but when I actually got it set up and felt how heavy and sturdy this table was I was definitely pleasantly surprised what's the best part of any standing desk well obviously the fact that it could go up and down. Check this out. Of all the different control panels from the different standing desks that I've tried, and I've tried a lot, this one's actually my favorite. It's got four pre-programmable buttons, and I just love that it's an actual large, sturdy module, unlike a lot of the flimsy ones that I've accidentally bumped into and literally broken off of my standing desk. For such a small desk surface, I love how smart FlexiSpot was about the different features and the fact that even the back has an extra lip for stuff, like how I have a bunch of my brother's art markers here, his art supplies, but you can also put a dual screen monitor back there. Yes, it fits, I've tested it. You can put a monitor riser, you can put a lamp. There's all different spots for this desk. And I was so surprised by this because when I first got it in, I wasn't sure if it'd be big enough. I'm one of those people that's always gone for the 78 inch or even 96 inch desktop surfaces. And so this was a great change of pace. And I know my brother's gonna love using it because he's a minimalist. So interesting enough, a lot of the desk setups for standing desks that I've tried and used in the past have been where the motors are in the legs. This one actually has a center column rotating motor. And I think that's the one downside that I've found about this specific standing desk. I think I just kind of prefer the ones that are in the legs and that's not really a big deal. That's just a personal preference. So I didn't want to go too tech heavy with this desk setup. This is mainly meant to be a small art station where my brother can use his laptop like a MacBook Pro or his iPad if he wanted to. But mainly I want this to be a creative space. And so with that, I have just a little tiny Bluetooth speaker here from Ultimate Ears. I love all of their different speakers. I have my brother's camera right here. He has one of the original Sony A7s. And then for this desk setup, my brother uses his Bose QC35s quite often. In terms of cable management, I kept things super clean. You'll see I literally left that one cable there and I've even routed it to the side of the leg with little grippy tapes. Now with every desk comes a good chair that you're gonna need. I actually have this really awesome wooden bench right here that's a live edge wooden bench and I think it looks amazing. But for comfort level and for just functionality, I got my brother this really awesome chair from FlexiSpot that's actually a workout cycle because this is a standing desk, it's a workout cycle. Wanted to give my brother that opportunity to kind of stretch his legs while flowing those creative juices. When I saw this on their website, this was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, but after trying it, it is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I love working, answering emails while just riding and pedaling on this thing. It's super easy to use, it feels super sturdy, and I love that there's actually a time meter on this, a mileage meter, there's even a calorie burner meter, there's all different things and I don't really use it, but there's a cup holder on top. And of course, my brother also has an actual office chair in here if he chooses to use that instead. Wanted to add some personalized touches in here. My brother absolutely loved Gundams, and I know your average consumer, you'll probably love these art pieces right here that I got from my brother. I will link that artist below, but this is one of my favorite artists that I've ever found on Instagram. He does really awesome mech-based stuff. Low-key fire feature I feel like more desks need is an actual drawer unit attached to the desk underneath. I love this thing. It's on shock, so it's soft closing, and it's actually a very nice big drawer. I feel like we should start that trend again of actually having drawers attached to desks, not just Alex drawers under desks. Come on. Have you guys seen any standing desk setups like this? If so, drop a link below because I'd love to check it out. I personally love art as well, but my brother is the main artist in the family, and I can't wait to see what other things he creates. 
from this setup. This setup's meant to be clean, minimal, give him a creative space to actually work and just be able to enjoy this setup sitting, standing, maybe even biking. And if you like this setup, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what kind of setup you guys wanna see next. Dark and moody, large standing desk, L-shaped desk, U-shaped desk. What are some setups that you love and you wanna see me do? I got you. Ooh, almost forgot, I also love this little Anchor wireless charging puck. Definitely check this thing out.